Today on Tools to Action, we have something that's very compact, yet very powerful, and we're very surprised to see it. So let's get into it. All right, the DeWalt DCF 512 is a 5-3-8 circular saw. The saw also comes with a straight guide and a dust collection attachment. It has a no load speed of 3600 RPM and a bevel capacity of 0 to 50 degrees. All right guys, here it is. This saw just popped out of nowhere in my mailbox one day. DeWalt sent it to us and I was like, wow, I didn't even expect this saw or know what was going on didn't with it. Didn't even know they had it out. No. But when I got it, I was pleasantly surprised. Never seen this before either. Five amp hour, 12 volt battery. Uh, you know, a lot of a year or two ago, everybody was saying, you know, they're killing off their 12 volt. It was a test and measurement laser line, you know, but right here, DeWalt showing us that, hey, no, we're coming back and we're coming back with a vengeance. It's not like we're coming back. We never left. It's just, you know, they just didn't ramp it up, but now they're ramping it up. And this is the Extreme Sub Compact Series, which gives us what, Eric? Power, runtime, and a small footprint. Yes. I mean, that's exactly it. You, I, that's, you know, it was surprising. You ran it through some wood. What'd you think? I ran through I thought it run, runs great. Now I'm used to the Milwaukee. Milwaukee's got a 5 and 3 8 inch also. Now they've got a 6 amp hour battery as opposed to the 5 amp hour battery. But it does run the bare tools about $10 more. Um, so it, it was, for me, it was cool to try because I used the heck out of that Milwaukee one. You know, because it's perfect for cutting 2 by 4s and plywood. And I'm not, I'm not talking about production plywood, you know, I'm talking about if I got to make a cut down plywood, they're easy to control. These smaller ones are a lot easier to control like than a heavy rear handle one. If yeah. you're going to cut multiple sheets, go with the rear handle. Right. If you're framing a house, do you want this? I don't know. Maybe if you're just doing a little trim here and there with it, keep it off to the side. You know, like Eric said, it is light. But I see more of this in like a, a carpenter, like a repair guy coming, hey, you got to put in new windows, I got to do this. Or some quick punch list items. This yeah, or even kind for. of vent in the floor and you need to, you know, cut out the vent holes or whatever it is, you know, it's nice to quickly do. Yeah, it's very powerful. Like Eric said, it, uh, we got depth adjustment right here. We got a bevel up to 45, right? 50. 50, bevel up to 50. Your tool is right here on the back to lock the arbor to change the blades. Uh, you can get, obviously, this is not the most popular circular saw size, but they're getting more popular and Diablo has them. Diablo has them. And I've never been a huge fan of the factory blades that come with. This is always the first thing I do. But I gotta admit, the blade that comes on here is not a bad blade. We've yeah. through a ton of stuff with it and it cut quickly. And I believe that's, what is it? A 16 tooth. Yeah, you put a Diablo on here and this thing's just gonna perform that much better. Again, you guys, if you don't know much about Diablo, look at look them up. They're just they are the echelon of blades. You yeah, have probably a little premium over your regular blade. They're really not though. But I mean, you're getting... they're really not. The thing about Diablo is you can get those really high quality blades. Like if I'm cutting laminate flooring or if I'm cutting something like that, they've got that variety which I like. But when you actually go and you look at the blades side by side, not the, yes against those general cheap ones yes they're more expensive but against the regular brand name ones it's not bad it's not a bad price i think they got a good price on their, yeah. their blades i'm a diablo fan you guys this definitely upgrades any power tool uh this thing typical dewalt quality very tough very rugged and the compactness of it i think it's a winner i love it i definitely want this tool in my collection i think it's going to be used a lot before this i was using their 12 volt i can't remember the size i, I want to say three inch no it's pretty small you know the one with the long handle or maybe it's yes i know what you're talking yeah, about yeah i can't remember about. i don't think it's three inch but it's a smaller saw and i've been using that for a while and it per it will do a two by four but you have to flip it over i've been keeping it in my truck and i've been using it a lot you know just my girlfriend's house fixing her stuff and uh dude this is awesome yeah. like i want to put all my dewalt in my truck because i love it but then again i know my truck gets moisture back there so i don't want these things getting trashed either so it's a tough decision yeah and I, again i've been using the milwaukee i'm pretty heavily invested in the M12 line. And I, I honestly feel it's probably the same power, but I feel like this was easier to cut through stuff. I feel like sometimes the Milwaukee bogs down, but the Milwaukee, the one I have is an older version. It's been out for a long time, so it could just be because it's an older Right. Tool. But I feel like that thing cut awesome. Milwaukee has a five-year warranty also. Yeah. This has a three-year. 
Uh, so yeah, pretty good stuff you guys. I recommend it if you're already on the platform It's great. Like Eric said the Milwaukee This is actually ten dollars cheaper than the Milwaukee from what we were seeing So you're gonna get a better option here, but you do have to go out and buy your batteries I'm not exactly sure of the cost of the 5 amp hour 12 volt, but still great saw But I gotta tell you if you want to invest in a 12 volt platform and you don't need all the um niche tools that the Milwaukee has to do if you're looking at drill impact and saw the main tools I'm a bigger fan of the DeWalt than the Milwaukee because I love their 12 volt so drill small. and impact so and small. this now you add this to it I mean that's it's an awesome those are three awesome tools for subcompacts for small tools DCF 610 look it up it's probably my favorite tool ever made DCF 610 is the greatest little driver you've ever seen love it peace out subscribe Bye. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.